Welcome inside the Coldale Snake Pit Arena, and it is a long time coming. Coldale Conference finally on home ice here as they will take on the Strathmore Wheatland Kings. They will be backstopped in goal by Riley Stavka. Nolan Burner goes for the Coldale Copperheads as Coldale chasing down the division title, and frankly, so is Strathmore. We are about to get underway here in Coldale and the home schedule, six consecutive home games underway for the Coldale Copperheads. Here comes Bex, he got it up to Brandon Howe. Howe trying to get it over to center, he does. Now in over the line, Abbott shoots and wide. Jaden Bexty, he is the lead leader in uh, goals in the Heritage Junior Hockey League. HHL 21, Hayden Vanderfly got it to Will Cathel. Now it will come to, uh, this is for Isaac Benoit. Now back to the line, offside. Coldale comes in second place in the South Division. 3-1, 0-2, that's 11 points. Strathmore in fourth, so they're still uh, in that hunt, you know, for the top spot. They come in 2, 2, 2, and 0. Oh. As the puck is down, and here we are back underway. Luke Metrath from the slot. A good stop by Nolan Burner, and he's going to hold on to that. The third jerseys out here for the Coldale Copperheads, clad in orange. Draw is going to be won by Tanner, Turner Sharp, and got this up to Ty Anderson. Anderson trying to drive it wide. Anderson into the middle, taken away here by Wacy Sandham, and Sandham will come back the other way, but he's poked off the stick. Here comes Ty Anderson again. Anderson gets hit along the far side boards, and now it will come to Wacy Sandham. First of a triple header here tonight, and uh, we'll get to uh, look at the schedule in just a little bit. Meanwhile, a hard hit on the near side boards. Coldale gains the line offensively. Pastuski in the middle. Here's Turner. Sharp put it high and wide. Coming up a little later on, Cochran at Lowman. That's at 6.30, and the 8 o'clock game is Okotoks at High River as the High River Flyers trying to keep pace. As, uh, they picked up the single point the last time out against Cochran. As Bailey Filco easy puts it back for Wyatt, for Zach Sunchins, and now it's going to come for Sand and puts it in deep. High River in a lot of trouble. They're on the, they're below the playoff cut line right now without a single regulation victory. Uh, they are in some trouble, but here comes into the middle. Here's Anderson. One chance, two chances. Couldn't put it home. Williamson trying to put it in deep. Couldn't, and now here comes Caleb Rowe. Back the other way for the Wheatland Kings. Rowe trying to get this one in front. Cannot do so. And Konschuk in there to take away for Coldale. And Kodschuk gets this one up to Jed Horvath. Horvath takes it over the line. Horvath knocked off the puck. Now going to battle there. It comes to Bailey, De Isaiah Nechi. Now Horvath shoots it. Great save by Stavka. Kicked it out with the right pad. Eric Sandham down the wing. He's looking into the middle. Drops back to the line. Bailey field easy. Now leaper glove save by Burner. Jed Horvath nearly got the Coldale Copperheads on the board. Face off to the left side of Nolan Burner here. The draw one by Logan Middleton. As we mentioned off the top of the streams early on, it was uh, these two, uh, this uh, Coldale Copperhead club They've been to two consecutive HGHL finals. And uh, since there was no HGHL final played in 2020, I guess theoretically they are the defending South Division champions. As Benoit tries to get this in front, going to come harmlessly to Nolan Burner, and Burner is going to hold on. So Coldale chasing down uh, that title. It would be their second title uh, in a relatively short period of time, second title in six years. They won the Heritage Junior Hockey League Championship back on, in 2015. Last HGHL team to win the Heritage League title on road ice. And now knocked into the net by Burner. 
as Burner was trying to knock that one away, but instead he inadvertently puts it in his own goal, and it's one nothing for Strathmore. As Burner, I think, just got a little too panicked there. This puck goes up, and it's gonna uh, go over top of Burner, and Burner just tries to swing his stick around and knock it into the corner, but instead it gets knocked into his own goal. So Benoit from Hammond and Bracco, that gets us off and running here, and the Strathmore Wheatland Kings, they're gonna take it. Here is Isaac Benoit back the other way over to Cody Hammond. Hammond stops up, looks into the middle. He finds Harry Vander Plank, stopped by Burner, and he kept it alive to Matt Johnson. Johnson to the near side, Howe. Howe looking for an outlet, can't find one yet. Howe got it still, taken off his stick though, and now here comes Isaac Benoit back offensively for Strathmore, but Howe did a good job to come back and take it back for the Coldale Copperhead. Sent up now, here is Ty Abbott. Abbott tries to get around Philco AZ. Puts it into the middle here is Johnson shooting, save, rebound. Bailey Philco AZ takes that away and now it's Cole Buslinger gives it back to Philco AZ. On the far side, Caleb Rowe. Rowe knocked off the puck and Abbott's got it right back for Coldale. Great move into the middle, Swanson snapping it wide. And a penalty upcoming, it will go against the Coldale Copperheads. Ty Abbott going to the penalty box, so a chance to extend the lead here for Strathmore. Face-off to the right of Burner. Bracco, Benoit, Garrett, Vanderplank on the power play for the Wheatland Kings. Luke Mentraff, top of the circles, he shoots and scores! What a shot by Lucas Mentraff! Underneath the bar, it's 2-0 Strathmore. Luke Mentrath comes off the line. And snaps that home from the hash marks. More of the hash marks than the top of the circles, which I, was orig which I had originally said. Leans into that one, and that puck, it just has eyes. It's through a bunch of bodies, and Burner can't pick it up. And certainly a tough one to give up for Nolan Burner. And uh, the Strathmore Wheatland Kings have staked themselves a 2-0 lead in this building, which, is vo which was voted in a poll recently that I did, the hardest to play in, in the Heritage Junior Hockey League. So, uh, Coldale, gonna need to pick it up. They wanna take advantage of home ice advantage. Here comes Devil, Devil, the Horvath. Horvath got it right back, he shot it wide. Horvath's original pass was uh, knocked away, but it came right back to him. He snapped one, but it didn't get on net. Zach Sunchins comes in now, right in front, Adrian Kuzu, denied by Burner. Like I said, coming up a little later on tonight, it is the Cochrane Generals at Lomond, Okotoks at High River. And uh, tomorrow, Cochrane will be here in Coldale. Okotoks will be at Strathmore, and Medicine Hat will be in High River to take on the Flyers. Is uh, that by the time we get to 8 o'clock tomorrow, that Med Hat High River game? Uh, High River season may well have come to an end, uh, speaking in terms of the postseason at least, as uh, Luke Mentrap drops this off, and now it comes to Racy Sandham. Sandham tries to get in over the line, and Mentrap's got it. Mentrap to the middle, there's a Garrett Vanderplag, who was looking for his first of the year, he got it right back. Vanderplag to the net, he drives it wide. And now here comes the Coldale Copperheads. This is Mitch Konshaw. Up to the line, Piskuski into the middle. Now Smith scores! Jaden Smith! A great feed from Sam Piskuski and Jaden Smith on the finish. And it's tied, it's, excuse me, not tied up, it's 
The lead is cut in half. 2-1, Strathmore leads. Four or 45 to go here in the first. Buslinger on the draw against the captain. Calvin Swanson, Buslinger won it cleanly. Philco Azy had it, lost it. Now Chase Williamson in control for the Copperheads. Got it to Calvin Swanson. Swanson up top, now Williamson shoots it. Good glove save by Riley Stavka, and he's gonna hold on to that. Coming up next for these two teams, as I mentioned for uh, Coldale, they'll be back at home uh, tomorrow uh, against the Cochrane Generals. Strathmore not in action until Sunday when they host the Medicine Hat Cubs. Draw one, back to the line, Todd's check Williamson. Up top, day chief. Now here's Williamson tied up on the far side boards, trying to dig this one loose. Calvin Swanson shoots this one, gets blocked, and Caleb Rowe will come back out. Rowe puts this in deep. It's going to be gathered by Isaiah Daychief, and Daychief will try to get this one up to uh, his winger, Swanson, but it hits a Wheatland team, goes all the way down the ice. No icing. Here's Cool Busslinger through center. Busslinger carries over the line. Knocked off the puck, but it right to Hayden Vanderplay. Will Castle from the line. It got through a bunch of bodies, but it went wide. Now it's Jaden Bexty as Bexty starts back out for Coldale. Bexty has that puck turned over, and now Cole Busslinger. Busslinger knocked off the puck. Neville to Sharp. Sharp through center for the Copperheads. Sharp in, turns uh, turned over. There's Hayden Vanderplay. to Wasey Sandham, and Sandham comes back for Strathmore. Wasey Sandham looking into the middle. Can't find his man, and now it'll be Brandon Haug. Is Haug trying to get this one out of the zone he will but Sandham jumps right on it now Brendan Moore final minute here of this first period here is Lucas Mentrath right in the middle a shot got blocked Ty Anderson steps onto it and Anderson will take the remaining time off here with one shot last shot away and a good stop there Riley Stavka kicks it out We'll go to the second period. Strathmore with a 2-1 advantage on Coldale. As the Wheatland Kings pick up that one, it's a 4 2 it is bounce that Burner puts into his own goal. They get another one, but they won't get uh, out of the period before Coldale gets one, which I thought we were just going to show, but I guess we won't. 8-6 of the shots on goal. Shots favor Strathmore, 8-6. And the Coldale Copperheads come to the second period, trailing by a single marker. And the draw is going to be won here by the Wheatland Kings, but it's turned right over. Great move by Abbott, trying to get around Vanderplag, but Vanderplag had him played neatly. That's, of course, Hayden Vanderplag. And now here is... Cody Hammond back over the line. Hammond looking to the middle. Hammond takes it himself. A stop by Burner. Cody Hammond trying to get it to the net. He got the shot away, but Burner stands tall. Face off to the left side of Nolan Burner, and it's won cleanly here by Coldale. Into the middle, it'll come for Bexty. Bexty carries over the line trying to get this one in the middle he could not do so and now here comes Hammond Hammond stops up looking for an outlet can't find one it, it's going to get to Will Cathal now Isaac Benoit Benoit dug that one loose here's Brandon Howe now comes to Bexty Howe shooting great save made by Stavka Kyle Bracco Bracco over to the far side Benoit now Hayden Vanderplag Vanderplag will start in through center. Kemp over the line on the far side. Vanderplag back to the line. Kyle Bracco. Bracco in deep Hammond. Up top, Isaac Benoit. Benoit taken off the puck neatly by Sam Piskuski. And Piskuski will start in offensively. Piskuski takes a bump there from Moore, but Piskuski's able to get it in deep. Zach Sanchez tied up in the far side corner. Bracco's got it. Bracco got this one to Wacy Sandham. Sandham. Over the line, got it to Benoit. Benoit knocked off the puck. It's going to be in deep. Here is Turner Sharp. Left it there for Clay Neville. Now here's Ty Anderson. Anderson got it to Jaden Smith. Smith has the Coldale goal. And now it comes to Clay Neville again on the near side. Neville on the left wing. 
Neville knocked off the puck. Wasey Sandham's got it for Strathmore in his own zone. Garrett Vanderplag tried to go back to Sandham, and then it came to Menstrath. Menstrath tried to get it to Sandham, but he missed as well. Now the Copperheads control in the neutral zone. Jaden Smith might, might he almost had Zach Sunchins beat, but Sunchins, a good recovery, knocks him off the puck, and he's got it back. Sunchins over to Wasey Sandham. Sandham into the middle. Deftly played there by Chase Williamson. 14 minutes to go here in the second period. Mitch Kodschuk knocked off the puck. Mentrath from the corner, walks it out front and spins and snaps it wide. Here comes Williamson. Over the line, Williamson knocked off the puck. Cole Busslinger. Busslinger got it to row. Busslinger knocked off the puck again, though. And this is taken in stride by Williamson. Williamson right in. He put it wide. Bailey, Philco Easy. He's got it in the far side. Puts this up the near side boards. It's intercepted. Cole Busslinger finally to Caleb Rowe. Rowe drops off Tom Tyson. Tyson gains the line offside. Are the Strathmore Wheatland Kings. 12 and a quarter to play here. Uh, the Wheatland Kings will win the drop and try to center it, intercepted neatly by Liam Anderson. Now here comes the Coldale Copperheads, try to center that one. And a penalty is coming up to Coldhill. So Strathmore are going to go back to the power play. Eric Sandham drives this wide. And now it's going to be touched up here by the Copperheads with 11 and a quarter to play in the second period. And Logan Middleton is going to the box for tripping. Saw Kusu fell, and I don't know how you're picking Middleton out of that pile to say that he was the one who definitively tripped Adrian Kuzu, but it's not going to matter. The Copperheads go to the kill, and uh, it's an important one here. Goals coming at a bit of a premium thus far, and uh, chances are coming at a premium, certainly for Coldale. So an important kill for the Copperheads. Here now, into the middle, Vander playing, Bracco spinning and firing. Oh, this one comes, it's right in underneath the burner. But that stays out and the net goes off. And I think they're bringing this one outside. And they've actually, they've called a penalty here is what they've done on Isaac Benoit for interference. So the power play was short-lived it's all for naught. We'll play shorthanded for a buck 29 and then 31 seconds on the man advantage for Coldale afterward. As uh, not a, uh, I think it's the right call, certainly. And I think that Isaac Benoit just a little overzealous about that loose puck. But here comes Moore shooting. Looking for his first of the year, the big defenseman Moore. And now here comes Ty Abbott. Abbott pushing the D back. He's waiting for reinforcements. Abbott peels off to the far side half boards. Now Neville, Baxty into the middle. Abbott deftly played the one-timer taken away by Hayden Vanderplay. Vanderplay looking in the middle, finds Bracco. Glove save made off the glove and into the corner. Burner, good stop there. 23 seconds to go, five on four on four. Cattle into the middle, Butterwick. Butterwick shoots it, good stop by Nolan Burner, and he's gonna hold on to that. 11 seconds remaining at four on four, and then it'll be a uh, just a shade under half a minute, just shade over half a minute, excuse me, for the Copperheads on the power play. That'll be their first man advantage, so uh, it will be a short-lived one as the Copperheads win the draw and Hal comes up through center. Copperheads about to get a man back and that is not what you wanted if you're the Strathmore Wheatland Kings. As soon as the Copperheads get a man back on the ice, Hayden Vanderplank trips up Brandon Hal. And we'll play five on three for the next 33 seconds. Draw is going to be won by Strathmore. And there are the Copperheads getting it. Piskuski will come up now. Here's Swanson. Swanson now over to Piskuski. Five on three going to come to an end here. Will Cathal, as the five on three ends, is able to get the length of the ice clear. 
Here's Isaac Benoit back on the ice. Right out front, Botslinger looking for a shorty. And he's taking off the puck there. There's Matt Johnson's in on it. Now Buslinger, Buslinger in the corner. Taking off the puck neatly by Sam Paskuski. Jaden Smith, the Cold Hill goal scorer, got it over the line. Smith drops off, Paskuski shooting, save, rebound. Paskuski jams it on goal again, but a good stop in tight by Stavka. Set the length of the ice here by Strathmore. 30 seconds to go in the Copperhead power play. 7.42 to go in the second period. 2-1, Strathmore leads. Will Cathal on the takeaway will send the length of the ice and that'll probably pretty well do it for the Coldale Copperhead man advantage. Brandon Howe comes through center. We're back to five on five now. Howe over the line into the slot. He shoots it. Glove saves Stavka and no rebound there. He's going to hold on. Two one, Strathmore leads. Seven minutes to go, and the puck at the line held in here by Coldale. Here's Sharp, Sharp to Abbott, Abbott, Howe now shooting side of the goal. It goes off of that, and now Howe back to the line for Turner Sharp. Knocked off the puck. Here's Abbott, Abbott in the middle. Buxty shoots it. Great save made. Is now it's going to come up the near side boards for Hayden Va Garrett Vanderplag over to Lacey Sandham, but it's stolen from him and now right up the far side boards. Langridge he comes in, Langridge the Horvath shoots, save, rebound, another stop. Horvath comes out the far side, spins and fires, stop by Stavka. Riley Stavka, two, three big saves on Jed Horvath. Keep this a one goal advantage for the visiting Strathmore Wheatland Kings. Luke Mentrath tries to cut in, save, rebound, to the stop by Burner. Dolan Burner turns in a big stop for the other end as well. This game stays Strathmore two, Coldale one. Draw one by the Copperheads. Over to the near side, here comes Williamson. Williamson puts it over to Neville. Neville winds and fires, and a good stop made there. It was on the far side. It's going to be dug out by Ryan Leeper. Strathmore able to get this to Eric Sandham, but Sandham has that puck taken off him. But Reese Neville can't get it in offensively. Strathmore ends up in possession. Liam Anderson's got it for the Copperheads. Anderson in through center. Over the line, far side. Liam Anderson to the middle. Reese Neville shooting now from the slot. A good uh, chance there for Coldale. Calvin Swanson to Neville. To Williamson. Scores! Chase Williamson on a pretty tic-tac-toe passing play has tied it for Coldale. Chase Williamson, second of the year in the Copperheads. Late here in the second period. Go to work, as their goal song seems to suggest. Deep in the zone, and Chase Williamson has got the Copperheads back even from Neville and Swanson. And we should have, that should set up an entertaining and intriguing third period as we are under two minutes to go here in the second. Over the line here, it's put in deep by Will Cathal. Tied up by Isaiah Daychief. Daychief can't seem to dig that one loose and Caleb Rose got it. Rowe where it gets it loose, uh, tries to put it out front, but now Isaiah Daychief skates onto it in the defensive zone. Daychief poked off the puck. Uh, Jaden Smith comes in, but he is offside. Draw one by the Strathmore Wheatland Kings. Put in deep. Here comes Liam Anderson up through center. Sorry, Ty Anderson. 
trying to get that one in deep. Taken off the puck by Hayden Vanderplay. Got it to Cathal. Final rush here for Strathmore. Isaac Benoit steps around Mims, man. Now Hammond out front. Stopped by Burner, and they'll just let the clock uh, come to its uh, expiration here. And we'll go to the third period. Dead even at two apiece. We shall see what the third period has in store. If you're going to want to win a game here, you're going to have to win a period. Coldale, 2-2 with that latest goal from Chase Williamson. 16-16, shots are dead even, so is the score at 2-2. Uh, Coldale coming off a victory in Strathmore against these Wheatland Kings. 5-1, that one was, so this one a lot closer than that. Yeah, but Strathmore had a game sandwiched in between there uh, where they uh, were able to pick up a victory over the Loman Lakers. Uh, so both these teams coming off wins. Uh, this game here will complete the season series. Abbott to Haug now. Haug snapping one. Good stop by Riley Stavka. He'll hang on to that. Face off to the left side of Stavka. And the Copperheads go to work here. There's Abbott now to Bexty. Bexty turns this one over. Uh, Coldale located about 10 minutes to Lethbridge's immediate east on the Crow's Nest Highway. So not too far out of the big city at all, really. Who is Garrett Vanderplag in the near corner? Most of Lethbridge's players, or should be, maybe not most, but a uh, good chunk of Lethbridge's players over the years, or, or Coldale's players over the years, have been sourced from Lethbridge, that minor hockey program. It's very successful. Uh, made a triple A and double A program out of Lethbridge as well. Here come the, the Strathmore Wheatland Kings. It's Wacy Santa. One timer! Denied club save windmill by Nolan Burner. Looking like Patrick Waugh. Luke Mentrath looks skyward. He can't believe it. Should have had his second in the go ahead tally for the Wheatland Kings. Draw one in deep by Jaden Smith. Here comes Ty Anderson now. Anderson over the line now gives it up to Jaden Smith near side. Smith right up front. Anderson! Oh, what a stop by Stavka. These goaltenders trading big saves on one-timers. We stay tied up at two. Just about four minutes gone here in the third period. Coldale won by a significant margin in Strathmore. And now a shot from off the face. Shot from Anderson off the draw. Stop by Stavka. 5-1 if memory serves. Was the score in that one? Well, as a shot goes wide off the draw. And now we got a penalty coming up, and it will go against the Strathmore Wheatland Kings. Big Brendan Moore. Go to the penalty box here, and that is interference if I've ever seen it. Yes, 5-1 was the score last year time these two linked up. A lot closer this time, but the Copperheads have a chance for their first lead on a power play. Draw one back, Sharp now to Swanson, right in front. Great save, one-timer, Paskuski denied by Stavka. This one gets put in deep, and it'll be gathered here by Liam Anderson. Anderson trying to take it back out and he starts out through center. Anderson starts out with power play rush. Right up front looking for Haug. And this puck will come off of I think a Wheatland King and right back to Stavka who's going to hang on to that. Great save by Stavka there early on the power play off Paskuski. And the draw will be won here by the Strathmore Wheatland Kings glassing out. It will go the length of the ice. And Nolan Burner leaves it there for Matt Johnson. Johnson will try to skate this one through center. 
Gets it up to Calvin Swanson. Swanson now to Brandon Howe. Howe tried to get this shot on goal. And now this puck will make its way into the Wheatland King bench. 14.34 to go in the period. And uh, more importantly, 51 seconds remaining on the strap on the Coldale power play. Now there's a good chance from the near side by Calvin Swanson. Steered aside there by Stavka. And now it comes Swanson again. Swanson over to the far side. Lacey Sandham's got control. Sandham put this one up onto the tape of uh, Copperhead instead. But here come the Copperheads here. Here's Jaden Bexty right in the middle. Pestuski a backhander. Stopped by Riley Stavka. He holds on to that. Just nine seconds remaining in the Copperhead power play. But they will have an offensive zone draw here. Baxty, Abbott, Jaden Smith out there on the man advantage for Coldale. Bosslinger, though, he will win it cleanly, and Will Cathel will end the power play. We are back to five on five with 13 and a half minutes to play here in the third period. Tied up at two. Comes now to Buslinger in the near side. And he will rip, take it around the net, put it up now to the captain, Garrett Vanderplay. Vanderplay again for Strathmore. Stops up into the middle, but it's taken away there by Ty Abbott. Jaden Smith on it for the Copperhead. Smith got it to Logan Middleton. Middleton with speed, attacking in the offensive zone, trying to center it. Great play by Will Cathel to take away. Wouldn't have mattered if he centered it anyway. Poldio was on a change. Nobody was there to help uh, Middleton. Uh, to get an opportunity. Meanwhile, here comes Brandon Langridge on the steal. Langridge puts this in deep. Gathered there by Will Cathel. 11 and a half minutes to go here, third period. Tied up at two. Now here's Cody Hammond. Hammond in the middle, Benoit shoots! Scores! Isaac Benoit, second of the game! And the Strathmore Wheatland Kings have taken a third period, 3-2 lead. This one just off the rush, and Benoit just kind of slingshots this one through, and it gets somehow through Nolan Burner. Doesn't matter how it got through. It went into the net, and Coldale back down uh, three to two here. Coldale has never led in this hockey game. Benoit from Ham and and Cathel. Ben was second, and now Ryan Leeper over the line. Leeper to the near side. Kuzu nearly made it 4 2, Wheatland Kings. But instead, here come the Coldale Copperhead. Swanson shoots, save, scores! It's in the net! Reese Neville! Puck came off the goaltender and right back to Neville, and he's able to poke it home. We're back even. And you see here, the shot comes through. The rebound goes off Stavka and off kind of the body of Neville and could, the presence of mind of Reese Neville to make sure he also got a stick on that before that goes in because it comes off a body like that. You never know, right, if it hits a glove or your skate. You never know if it's going to get called back or not. So Reese Neville makes sure that that one will count. And indeed it does. We're even up 3-3 with 10 to play here in the third period. And Neville comes in, uh, a little 10 on 10 crime there in the corner, tied up with Bailey Filco Aze. And uh, I believe Neville is going to get a penalty there. Referee thinks he might have held up Bailey Filco Aze a second too long. And the, uh, I said 10 on 10 crime, and that's a lie because Reese Neville's number 18. So that is a bad penalty call though, I will say. So now the Strathmore Wheatland Kings will go to the power play. A chance to take the lead back. Strathmore one for two this at evening. And now it's flung down the ice by Calvin Swanson. Nine minutes and 15 seconds to go here in the third period. Is here come the Wheatland Kings power play rush. Shooting stopped by Burner on Hammond. And he's going to hold on to that. Face off to the right of Burner. 
And it's won by the Copperheads. And they get that thing the heck down the ice. So the Wheatland Kings got to regroup, but here comes a power play rush for Strathmore now. Luke Bedraff spins away from a check in the corner. Got it to Wacey Sandham. Sandham still in control of it. Tried to center and knocked away by uh, Swanson and then fired the length of the ice again by Strathmore. By Co Coldale, excuse me. And now Brandon Langridge in control. Drops back to Clayton Neville. Neville turns that one over. Now here comes Bracco. Maybe a two-on-one. Hammond's got Bracco. Hammond to Bracco. What a stop by Burner. Nolan Burner comes across with the glove and makes the stop on Kyle Bracco. I thought it was 4-3 Wheatland Kings, but Nolan Burner says no way. Pastuski and Bracco on the draw. 27 seconds to go in the man advantage, and that will be significantly reduced by a length of the ice clear and maybe time for one last rush. I don't think they'll get it. It's done now. Is the we are back to five on five. Vanderplank hits his brother Hayden off the bench. Hayden shoots it, blocked there, and here come the Coldale Copperheads. A hard hit right in front of the Coldale bench. No call coming. Referee deemed it was clean, and now here comes Benoit. Benoit taking off the puck there by ba Isaiah Day Chief. Six minutes twenty seconds to go here in the third period. Coldale three, Strathmore three. Logan Middleton put it in deep. Gathered here by Buslinger. And these are, in fact, uh, this is the same lineup that uh, Coldale had that beat the Wheatland Kings 5-1. But here comes a chance for Benoit first. The hat trick denied. Oh, a hard hit at the line by but on Buslinger. By Ty Anderson, absolutely flanned him, and another big hit. This time by Moore in front of the Coldale bench. Kuzu shoots, kicked out with the left pad by Burner. And now here come the Wheatland, the Coldale Copperheads back the other way. This is Abbott into the middle. Abbott shoots it, denied. Blocker save. And here comes Strathmore. Brendan Moore into the middle. It'll come. Leaper's got it on the near side. Ryan Leaper got it to Eric Sandem. Sandham knocked off the puck. It comes Conchuk now to Ty Abbott. Abbott in the middle. It's Shaden Beck. He stopped by Stavka. Three twenty-three to go here in the third period. Do we have overtime on the horizon or is a late hero going to emerge? Captain's on the faceoff and it's won by Swanson. Swanson's got an offensive zone and Isaiah Daychief turns this over to Lucas Menschrath. Daychief retreats back, got it to Mitch Konschuk. Konschuk up the near side to Williamson. Chase Williamson, he comes right in. Williamson shot denied by Stavka. This puck stays loose, however, and we approach the two-minute mark here in the third period. Two minutes to go in regulation. This here's Reese Neville. Neville has the latest goal that's tied it up, and now it's Daichi from the line. It's poked off the stick and out. Mitch Konschek retreats into the neutral zone, and he has control now in Coldale territory. Isaiah Daychief up the near sideboards. This is for Chase Williamson. Williamson stops up, looking for Neville out front. Good play to break that up, and now back the other way, Caleb Rowe. Final minute here of regulation. Tied up at three. Liam Anderson knocked off the puck. It's now Isaiah Daychief to Jed Horvath. Horvath gets hit hard, but Anderson steps onto it. Anderson got it to Chase Williamson. Williamson in the middle. Take it off the puck, but it comes to Horvath. Shooting, and it's off the stick. I think of Zach Sunchins up and out of play with 36.3 seconds to go. Face off right side of Stavka deep in Strathmore territory. Draw one by the Copperheads. A one-timer! Whistle just wide. Sam Paskuski almost had the late winner. Now he might, but a good recovery by Kuzu doesn't allow it. Kuzu gets it up to Eric Sandem. Sandem tries to get this one in, taken by Sam Paskuski. And now here comes Ty Anderson. 
Anderson over the line. Anderson in the middle, trying to get it to Ryan Leeper. Could not do so. Back to the line it comes. Now Johnson to Anderson. Now here's Ty Anderson. Ty Anderson spinning away from a check. Now it's Jaden Smith. Tied up, and that will do it. 60 minutes have come and gone, and we are even at three. So we will play three on three overtime uh, for five minutes. And still, if we no winner, we'll go to a shootout. Is, uh, that does it for 60 minutes. Through regulation, both these teams will take a point and play for the second. 27-22, Coldale outshoots the Wheatland Kings through 60. We are back inside the Coldale Arena for the final five minutes, plus a shootout if needed. Bexty, Abbott, Benoit, Bracco, the forwards out there for uh, each respective team. Is now here's Bexty to Abbott, looking for an early winner. Couldn't put it home. And now here come the Wheatland Kings. Isaac Benoit knocked off the puck. Cathel's got it for Strathmore. Will Cathel shoot? Scores! Up over the top of Nolan Burner. And Will Cathel walks it off for the Wheatland Kings in overtime. Will Cathel, I have no idea. How that snuck up and over top of Burner. I think that just caught his stick at, at a tough angle. And and he didn't see it going up and over top of him until it was too late. So, tough one for sure. But uh, nonetheless, Strathmore picks up the extra point. Meanwhile, our three stars, Chase Williamson, he, is, he has a goal and an assist in the game this evening he is your third star your second star will be will cathel with a goal and an assist including the game winner and usually you score the game winner and i think that just clips the top of burner's pads goes up and over top and isaac benoit with three points two goals and an assist he is your first star and nolan burner has had three goals uh, today kind just kind of leak by him so Tough one for him, but uh, nonetheless, uh, it's uh, Colio will pick up a point. However, that's obviously not what you want. So, as uh, you, team you beat 5-1 just a short time ago. But nonetheless, Isaac Benoit with it at 8.59 gets us off and running from Cody Hammond and Kyle Bracco. Luke Mentraff makes a 2-0 strap more from Garrett Vanderplank and Kyle Bracco at 11.55. Then at 15-15 uh, of the first, Jaden Smith gets the Copperheads on the board, makes it 2-1. And from Sam Pastuski and Mitch Konschuk, Chase Williamson ties it up for the Copperheads from Reese Neville and Calvin Swanson at 17.51 of the second period. Isaac Benoit gets the go-ahead goal for the Wheatland Kings at 8.47 from Cody Hammond and Will Cathel. Then uh, Reese Neville gets us back even less than a minute later, way less than a minute later. Uh, Neville from Swanson and Williamson at 9.28. And then 50 seconds into overtime, Cathel wins it from Isaac Benoit and Kyle Bracco. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll have uh, more for you later tonight at uh, 6.30, Cochrane at Lomond, and then at 8, Okotoks at High River. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you a little bit later on.